an extremely large earthquake has occurred in the southeast of Turkey, near the border with Syria. Data from seismometers which measure shaking of the ground caused by earthquake waves suggest this this event, in the early morning of February 6, was a magnitude 7.8. A second very large earthquake of 7.5 magnitude also occurred in central Turkey around lunchtime. This area of Turkey is prone to earthquakes as it lies at the intersection of three of the tectonic plates that make up the Earth's crust, the Anatolian, Arabian and African plates. Arabia is moving northwards into Europe, causing the Anatolian plate, which Turkey sits on, to be pushed out westwards. The movement of the tectonic plates builds up pressure on fault zones at their boundaries. It is the sudden release of this pressure that causes earthquakes and ground shaking. This latest earthquake is likely to have happened on one of the major faults that marks the boundaries between the Anatolian and Arabian plates, either the East Anatolian Fault or the Dead Sea Transform Fault. These are both strike-slip faults, which means they accommodate some motion of plates moving past each other. Each other. What about aftershocks? After major earthquakes there will be many smaller earthquakes known as aftershocks as the crust readjusts to the changes in stress. These can continue for days to years after the initial event. In the first 12 hours after the initial tremor in southeast Turkey there were already three other earthquakes above magnitude 6. The first was a 6.7 which happened only 11 minutes after the first shock, and there have been hundreds of smaller magnitude aftershocks. As the aftermath of these major earthquakes continues to be felt by the people living in this region, we can only hope that international aid gets to Turkey and Syria as soon as possible to help in ongoing rescue efforts.